So next, I wanted to talk about InTouch. So here are going to be some tips and tricks regarding one of our most popular products that has been around for a very long time. <clears throat> I'm not sure why the video isn't loading here, but this is the InTouch web client. So the InTouch web client is a browser-based solution for remote access to InTouch applications. It comes with the InTouch license as well, just like the Historian Client Web license, uh, Historian Client Web comes with the Historian license. So I'm not sure why this video isn't loading, but essentially the way that the InTouch web client works is that you set up an InTouch web server, and then at that point you can access your Historian, your InTouch app from the browser if you just point directly to the application. It's a strong alternative to InTouch Access Anywhere, but the main difference is that in touch access anywhere is oh so here we're loading the video actually i'm going to let it play but yeah. in touch access anywhere is rds based which is remote desktop services so it leverages remote desktop protocols while the in touch web client is browser based all right before i play the video um just let me know if the uh, if there's an audio or not here please because i'm playing from youtube now sounds good thank you an in touch HMI application on any HTML5 supported it works. web. A built in web server enables web browsers to access application graphics from any Microsoft Windows client or server operating system without the use of RDP or IIS for Microsoft Windows Server. You can view application industrial graphics in a web browser for standalone and simple applications only. It is important to note that every tag-based InTouch license comes with a complementary concurrent InTouch web client user. There are two ways to run the Aviva InTouch web client. The first one is through enabling the web client on the InTouch application manager through this globe icon. The other one is through the fast switch, which is on the window maker. This will trigger the following actions. Set the application path to the current application and build the application's web folder. And then it will start Window Viewer, which provides data for the web client animation. The Aviva and Touch web client utilizes two services. The first one is Hosting Service, which is the Aviva Industrial Graphics Service. The second one is the InTouch iData Service. Both are automatically installed with InTouch, no need for any configuration, installation, or any setting up work. In Development Mode, Window Maker helps to convert industrial graphics and applications to HTML5 using a Viva Industrial Graphics service. In runtime, the Window Viewer facilitates the InTouch iData service by providing data from I.O. and memory sources as well as animating and scripting support. Here are some of the benefits of using InTouch Web Client. It is secure for use beyond the OT firewall network. It provides backward compatibility with InTouch application standalone, modern, or managed. Also, InTouch Web Client extends the Windows view or navigation and experience to the native web browser. It provides localization and runtime language switching, and it supports higher scalability for larger scale deployment. Thanks, Alcon. So we can close this video. Yep. So yeah, just a quick summary. So the main difference between InTouch Web Client and InTouch Access Anywhere Although they both can give you remote access to your InTouch applications with read and control, read and write capabilities, is that InTouch Access Anywhere is an RDS based approach using remote desktop services, while the InTouch Web Client is a browser based approach.